Well, I have a little bit of a cough, and that is why I am at the TB clinic today. TB, well, that stands for tuberculosis. Oh, it's a strange bunch of people there. Ah, there's Dr. Atkinson. He's looking down my microscopic microscope there. I wonder what he's seeing. Well, this sample of bacteria here, you can see there's two types. And when I add an antibiotic, it seems to be effective against the little brown ones. Hmm. So they are not resistant to the antibiotic. Now there's not many of the green ones, but they don't seem to be dying. They actually seem to be multiplying. Now that the non-resistant microbes are dying off, they can thrive. The resources are there for them to do better and better. There's less competition. This is evolution. Selective pressures. Now those antibiotics are not even going to kill those resistant bacteria when they're applied directly to it. This is very bad. So overprescribing antibiotics apply selective evolutionary pressure, leaving the most resistant bacteria alive. Survival of the fittest, if you will. That's bad news for you if those are the ones that are making you sick. And not finishing a course of antibiotics means you have the disease longer, so more resistant mutations will occur, and there's less competition now. You killed the non-resistant bacteria off with your first set of antibiotics. So why wouldn't you take your TB medication? Well, you might feel okay and think you don't have to take any anymore. But TB, it affects your brain. It affects your lungs. And it can affect your spine, and it can kill you if you don't take these antibiotics that they'll give you. So why is that a problem as well? Well, you might uh, be a shift worker or have strange eating habits, and you have to take the tablets on an empty stomach. Oh, Dr. Atkinson's gone. Uh, it can turn your sweat orange. It can turn your pee orange. And it can turn your tears orange. And that can be off-putting too. And the pills are really big. And that's another reason why people might not finish the course of antibiotics for TB. Well, TB aside, these animals outside seem to be being routinely dosed with antibiotics at the farm. And down there, the pigs are being dosed with antibiotics too. So farmers do that to, to keep the health of the population of the animals up. But of course, the problem is, is they're also breeding bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics. Dr. Atkinson was on the roof to try and pull those syringes out of the chickens. Don't fall, Dr. Atkinson. Oh dear. He's fallen into a snowbank. He should be okay. Right, I'm going to try and find him. Oh, this is really confusing. Everywhere looks the same. Oh, it's like a maze. 